Welcome to the suburbs with Andy and Greg. There was Greg, the personality with a very dark sense of humor that was random, if ever sentimental, before I had kids. Like, never sentimental. After kids, I find myself crying at weird things. Are you a non-crier ever? Oh, no. And there's there's things that get me all the time. Are there? Oh, See, yeah. See, I never cried. I never cried. And, I, I mean, funerals, but, you know, let's say that aside. Movies, for sure. Really? We'll tug up my heartstrings, yeah. And, and is that post-kid, or is that always? No, I think always, I would think. I, I would say even musicals sometimes. Really? I, th- I think the music is what gets me, too. I mean, it's it? the, I think the, the drama of the music is what really sets me off. I think, and this used to actually kind of be a running joke, I think Brian's song was the only movie that ever made me cry as, a, as an older kid, young adult. I think I could count on, with two fingers, the things <laughs> that made me cry. I'm at a Pacer game with a friend, and they they're like and now to sing the national anthem is tim walker from blah 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 middle school and he comes out and he's challenged with walking he's got a disability and hence um, the name tim walker (laughs) no that was was (laughs) how ironic so he comes out and and he's singing the Star Spangled Banner, and, and I'm, I'm listening, and everything's kind of groovy, and I'm just kind of into it. And then he he goes into the wrap-up part of it. The big finish. Oh, the big finish. And, and this kid lays it all out on the line. He puts his whole life into this effort, and I start crying. <laughs> and I can't let the guy I'm with see that I'm crying. <laughs> So you bit into an onion. <laughs> totally. Oh, I'm looking down the other way. I can't look at him. <laughs> so I keep my focus so he doesn't see me crying. He's on my right. Everything to the left. I'm in. <laughs> just puzzled by. I'm curious by. I can't look at him. They tip off the game, and I'm still crying. Oh, my. And it's I taking can't. you down. <laughs> and, I, and it was just because he just... It was just, it was the kid, it was how he sang, and it wasn't until probably three minutes into the game that I could, because I didn't want to, like, wipe my eyes and go, oh, man, that was such a good, that was such a good song. Do you want popcorn? You know? <laughs> I want that national anthem. <laughs> didn't it just get to you? Wow. I couldn't believe it, and I thought, I'm, I'm starting to get soft. So We were in New York uh, seeing Hamilton. And Hamilton always gets to me. There's two or three songs that always get to me. And I was there with Jennifer and one of her girlfriends from the office in California that was in in New York. Toward the end, there's a scene that just always floors me every time. And then (laughs) Jennifer's between the two of us, and she's looking left and looking right. And there's me crying on the left and Angela (laughs) crying on the right. And she's like, what is happening? (laughs) It's like, you know. (laughs) She's like, oh, boy. Again, eyes forward. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah I, I can't help it american idol uh season 21 oh my gosh you know the season 21st season yeah the model has sort of shifted to more uh human interest sides of these contestants instead of you know just just parading a bunch of losers out in front of them to be made fun of and move on <laughs> and it's kind of was the old model and uh yeah the, yeah 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 in the right, last right. in the last probably five years they've they've sort of found a new direction and not a nude erection. And uh, <laughs> they said uh, they have all these stories that are human interest. That takes a lot more production. You know, they, they're investing more. It does. And, and, and they probably, in, in the course of two hours, they might only show seven or maybe eight actual auditions. And then they'll intercut a bunch of, like, kind of, you know, goofy ones, quick cuts, and then back to these. We call it American Cridal. 
It's like killing me. Like, let's, let's move on to the auditions in California because this is just every Sunday. It's like, oh, it's killing me. Oh man, that that's now I feel like being Jeff Schneider, that that agent I was telling you about from Pittsburgh. All right, it's just another contestant. Why don't you dry your eyes and let's get on with the singing? <laughs> I'm sitting in the dentist chair and and I'm on the north side. So rather than solving puzzles on the uh, ceiling, I'm I'm watching TV and they've got on Animal Planet. And I'm like, okay, I love outdoors. I love I love the whole Animal Planet thing. And um, and this one is on. <laughs> of course, they always make man look like the the meanest. Like man sucks. Man is is causing you know global warming is the problem here is us. It's a it's a we problem. Yeah, definitely exactly. a we problem. As I'm watching this, the polar ice caps are melting, so it shows these underweight polar bear cubs, and you know how polar bears not might not be around for that much longer. They didn't. I don't think gave it in terms, but I'm sitting there starting to get sentimental. Like I feel like where is the where is Gary? <laughs> Please get him in here before I start crying. <laughs> And so, Would you like to watch Animal Planet or American <laughs> Idol, <laughs> or have a Billy Walker sing the national anthem? My God, yeah, right. Bring it to your see. knees. Oh, I'm telling you. Could you just put SpongeBob on so that I can <laughs> laugh? Because, uh, and so, so after they after they get past the part about the uh, polar bears, they're talking about walruses, and uh, it's kind of the same scenario going on. Meanwhile. The, whoever, so this, um, the hygienist that normally is working on me is working on somebody else because I'm, I'm there for brace. I'm there for the, you know, the headliner needs to come in and work in my mouth. And, <laughs> uh, and so, and she's watching a car chase movie with her client. <laughs> Yay, copper. <laughs> Can't find me now, copper. Um, so that's going on in in the in the space over there on the other side of the cabinets and everything but some of the walruses like rather than being on the beach and you know how they, they look like a giant caterpillar with tusks the way sure just around. a big blob total ballet in the water but but on shore very awkward and somehow a bunch of them ended up on a cliff and they're looking down and apparently not the sharpest tool in the shed because they look down and they're like hey 150 feet below me is a rock i think if i leap i can make it to that rock and be okay <laughs> watch me and then what do they do they show it in slow motion uh -oh. and so here's this blubbery big honking walrus bouncing off of multiple rocks on the way down to the one that he thought <laughs> he could jump to where he lands on his head and is killed uh. and then what happens the one after him does the same thing in slow motion and i'm like you guys proved your point with the first one <laughs> and i'm crying now and then here comes gary and he's like <laughs> he looks at me and he goes are we scaring you with the braces i don't understand what's going on with the tears i mean you got me all emotional with the walruses on discovery channel <laughs> gabriel he's our miniature schnauzer and they're known to be quite fussy eaters and Gabe was uh, the poster child for Fussy Eater. Jennifer's tried and tried and tried, and it was puppy food he loved, no problem. But we, when we transitioned him from puppy food, it was just hard to find anything. And the uh, evening ritual of watching Jennifer chase him around the house with a spoon, <laughs> and he won't eat out of a bowl or off a plate. I mean, he just won't. Still won't. I I can hear my granddad right now saying, when he gets hungry, he's going to eat. Well, that's what the vet would say time and time again to Jennifer. You know, is there something wrong with him? Is he, is he heavy? No, he's just a terrier, and when he gets hungry, he'll eat. So we finally found this sort of freeze-dried dog food called Sundays for dog. So what is it, like fried chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, and green beans, fried in bacon? It looks like something for the, the that you would feed an astronaut. <laughs> space food sticks just space food kind of just this hard kind of just broken up little pieces of baby lambs made from the flesh of baby lambs <laughs> <laughs> made from the blubber of walruses that have plunged set from, <laughs> from the cliff walrus meat 
this routine of just chasing him around the house with a, <laughs> a spoon, trying to get him to take a bite. Thing is, he would be hungry. He just was doesn't like what she was bringing him. And he's the kind of dog that he may eat this today, but then maybe maybe a little chicken here for a day or two, and then we'll back out to that one. So, but he can't tell her which one he wants. Right. He can just tell her the ones he doesn't want. Right. Carly had a friend who would only eat pepperoni pizza for dinner. Pepperoni pizza. Is she 400 pounds now? <laughs> <laughs> She's actually not. She's not at all. Good metabolism. Uh, must be. Yeah. The best part of it of it is, is she's Jewish. Ah. So I guess it did, or maybe it was cheese pizza. You know, or at least that's what we're telling the rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> our, our nieces, the girls that would always get the gift cards from us, one of them for sure always was just like macaroni and cheese every time we went to dinner at a restaurant. Macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese. Or then she switched to, to steak. We were recently down in Florida. My sister and her husband, both with their phones up, had their uh, GPS on, on the daughters who were in their 20s, watching their every move in their cars. And I said to Jennifer, it's like they're tracking dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> the migration of dolphins. Well, yeah, she said she was going to Susie's house. Yep, no, that, that, yep, that's right. That's Susie's address. Okay. She's at Susie's, like she said. Okay, good. Are you kidding? And they're in their 20s? Yeah, one's going to be a senior next year, and one's getting ready to graduate with a, a degree in pharmacy and and move to europe <laughs> that's what we say that's what we say as far away as possible you ain't tracking me now dad <laughs> we had a, a cat named henry it was kind of like a dog i mean it would go on walks with us you'd call him he'd come really cool cat and it was an indoor outdoor cat kind of like carpeting <laughs> yeah on father's day one of our neighbors came over and said, hey, I think Henry's laying dead in our yard. And uh, he had tangled with a hawk. Oh, yeah. And the hawk got the better of him. But there were some hawk feathers laying around him. And he still had that <laughs> look on his face. Frozen. Like when he was killed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> Frozen screen. Yes. A frozen screen with a big Ugh. wound in his neck. And uh, so the hawk took him down. I took him home. We've got the pet cemetery. We've got this rock for the headstone, and I've dug this hole. And the girls were there, and the girls wanted to put a picture they had colored and little notes with Henry. I had just shoveled the first shovel of dirt and, and wrapped in a blanket. Like they even, one of them volunteered their blanket Aww. to wrap Henry in so that he's warm in the grave. That first shovel of dirt goes on Henry, and they both looked at me and said, can we get a new one? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, peri the period of mourning is over. Right. Hey, I'm crying. No, we can't get a new one. There shouldn't be mud here. There is from the tears. <laughs> when Heather was little, did you ever catch her playing on the phone? Playing on the phone? Yeah. No. So we had a, we had a black lab named Nick, and Nick had um there's a a thing that have people get it too where they're missing a mineral or vitamin or something in their diet and so they eat weird things so fast forward to adult dog and alexis is like you know you need to leave my lunch money out and I'm like, i did leave your lunch money out <laughs> she goes i didn't get any lunch money I'm doing comedy at the time, and I had done this private gig, and they paid me in money. Versus shiny beads and shells. <laughs> and the dog ate several hundred dollars. He, like, got up on the dresser and ate the cash. Oh, my. He's living his dog life, living his best life, and I'm getting ready to go to the club. I've got a show that night. And then all of a sudden, he starts having a heart attack. Really? I don't know that he's having a heart attack. I don't know what's going on. I figure maybe he just ate something and and was going to barf. So I'm picking up this like 85 pound dog and moving him outside so I don't have to clean up barf all over the place. And he just doesn't get better and doesn't get better. And Keely comes home from work and is like, oh, buddy. And she like pets him and he dies. Uh -huh. And we have this dying dog moment. And then I have to go to comedy. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so, and he's freaking heavy, man. And so I put him in the sled, I pull him around and pull him into the garage and I'm going to bury him the next day. Fast forward to the next day and Grace is little and she's playing on the phone. And she, and I'm out digging the grave for this dog that's an enormous black lab. So it could be interpreted as a grave for a person. Sure, big, big hole. Big dog, deep, big, rectangular hole. What, what month of the year was this? Uh, it was warm out. Okay, so it was <laughs> to the tundra. <laughs> no, I mean, the sled was just to help 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 me get it around the yard point a point B. it was in the backyard and i didn't want to leave him in the backyard all night that'd be awful grace is on the phone and co actually calls somebody and i don't know what she said but the woman thought that she said mommy's dead <laughs> and and so she calls 911 they send police to my house and i'm in the side of the house <laughs> digging a grave <laughs> for nick explain and, this one <laughs> yeah and so all of a sudden the police are there and they're and they look and they and they don't they think they know what's going on they think that i get caught doing what i shouldn't be doing and so they said where's the body and i said in the garage in the sled <laughs> and they said can you let us in and i said yes <laughs> so sir we go around and and he's like can you tell me what happened? And I said, I'm really not sure. I think it was a heart attack, but I'm not. You, you're really not sure you think it was a heart attack. Do you think it could have been you? I go, I, it absolutely couldn't have been me. I mean, the whole thing started. Does he still then, think it's a person? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like and I think, it all. I think he's talking about, the, I don't know. I don't even know why he's there. <laughs> and they didn't tell me why they're there. And they just like started in. And so I'm just like going with them. And so you're all, you're all riffing with them. <laughs> <laughs> not real, not like I riff with you, <laughs> but I was answering his questions. I mean, he didn't have me in cuffs and he didn't have the gun drawn. So we're having a conversation. But I, the last thing I thought he thought was that Haley's dead. I mean, I didn't know. I, but my neighbor was this um, real anal dude that. You know, who knows what he would have been thinking, but like my mind flashed to maybe he thought something hanky panky was going on because the grave was so freaking big. You know, I didn't say anything. I just answered his questions. And so we, we got into the garage <laughs> and they looked at me and they go, this is a dog. And I go, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is a dog. And they said, you're so smart. We, we thought, we thought your wife had died. And I go, what? <laughs> And they said, yeah, your daughter called, and we got a call that mommy is dead. Like, we, tra we traced the call, and we were we were told that there was a woman killed here. And I said, she's at work. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's not here. Can you call her right now? Uh, yeah. And so I did. This is a dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's almost like there was these two parallel conversations or thought processes happening, and neither one was connecting. You were clearly thinking they were here. I didn't know why they were there, and that they they clearly understood it was a dead body. And mommy's dead. Mommy's dead. Yeah. And you're digging a hole in the back. I'm digging my own grave. How stupid could this guy be? <laughs> I'm glad it was Nick and not a female. Yeah, the bitch is in the garage. <laughs> Hi, this is Andy. If you enjoyed listening to our podcast, please be sure to subscribe and share. Remember, laughter is contagious. Help us spread it by telling a friend.